Okay, so it is May 13th, 2019. It's like 10 till 10 in the morning. I got home about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, my dog is hot. He's not out of control hot. He wasn't foaming at the mouth or anything. He had just gotten to the point in his walk where he was like, I want to go home. And I'm like, yeah, me too, but we have to check the mail. <coughs> so one of the Wellington dudes who had already run into right there on that corner two Wellington trucks parked side by side and I went around him and it turned out to be like I think either old lady Emerson or Stephanie herself in a silver SUV so <coughs> I was like oh look traffic jam and I kind of walk around and then I see who it is and I just kind of snorted and laughed a little because it was funny uh, to see like the gang people are like all freaking out about it but you know what they're going to cover up all the long term energy usage blah 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 they're going to look like victims like someone came through from North Korea or Russia and has been stealing power from people through these accounts all this time in Albion or some fucking shit like that it'll be something like that where they'll be the victim because they're the cowboys and I'm the engine doesn't matter if I'm not Native American I'm still the engine they're the cowboys so one of the cowboys number 4612 I think is the, the vehicle that he was in at about we ran into him <clears throat> we got home at 9 30 because I looked at the clock I was like what time is it was I out there way longer than I thought no it's 9 30 so pretty good time to come home my dog looks like he's pretty happy we had a good walk he had a nice drink of bottled water when we got home we had bottled water for him while we were out there walking and I'm just curious so Wellington stops the Wellington uh, energy dude in 4612 or the older dude uh, comes to patronize me it was just like it was just like the flippin uh, pro cab lady who followed me home one day with mindful because she thought I was abusing him or whatever I'm like whatever follow me home she's like give me your phone number I'm like you can just follow me home and cop my address and so she did and so he stops me and he's like I've got bottled water for my dog we haven't been out there for longer than an hour um, cause we left it, well, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I think we got out at 8.15. Anyway, so he stops me and says, better get home before it gets too hot, huh? And I'm like, fuck you, dude. But I didn't say that. I was like, yeah, we're on our way home right now. I said, don't worry, we have water with us. I said, thanks for telling me, though. I am curious, though, if Wellington bothered to go over and tell Rhonda Anderson, who was working in the uh, garden and who had had her dog out for at least an hour longer than me, tied out to its tree. I mean, yes, it has the option of shade, but still, they're out there, and I'm sure she didn't. I'm not going to say that. That's assuming that she didn't give any water, and that's rude. Anyway, so, yep, Wellington Energy, I will be calling to complain about you, or at least your person, which is too bad, because I was so happy cause to see you guys being professional and stuff, and you don't know me, so you don't know how well cared for my dog is, but here I am, I have ponytails on, I was banging a tambourine, and I had found a feather, so I was carrying a feather, banging a tambourine, have ponytails on, so of course, oh, and I snorted and snickered at the criminal fat lady who is part of the suicide club, who actually is one of the women, her mother and her and her sister, who cued me in to the idea of people uh, preying on people until they commit suicide. So, so yeah, so I walk past and it looks like I'm some skinny athletic chick being mean to the fat lady and I'm too much of a fucking idiot to uh, know to bring my dog home because I'm out banging my tambourine showing off or some shit. It's like, the tambourine is for my dog's anxiety and um, usually I have a rattle with me today. I felt like bringing a tambourine. The feather I found, the fat lady is a fucking criminal and kind of a murderer and so is the rest of her family and my dog is very well cared for. Thank you, Wellington patronizer. And thank you, Pro Crab Lady, also, who patronized me. What would I do without the white people to show me how to vacuum and wash my windows and walk my dog? And Officer Zem to tell me that I actually need to do some physical scrubbing on my trailer. That's what I got to do to get the dirt off of it. Fuck you.
evidence manipulating scumbags. I know you. I know two of the three parties over the years, and Wellington obviously fits right the fuck in. No offense to the energy person, I'm talking about that person, 4612 or whatever rig number he was in. Rude. Rude and patronizing. And supporting criminals because of appearances. Instead of supporting the person that's been victimized by these criminals since she was 12 or younger. These are people that like watch sneaky fucking snuff films and porn. Child porn. So fuck you. Yes, I know everybody thinks that I'm the child porn person, but no. I was the child porn star. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Vista. Thank you, Washington State. Thank you, spectacular Democrats of Washington State, Tom Foley et al., for providing that opportunity for me. Thank you, Washington State University, connected over to New York and the Mafia. Thank you for providing me the opportunity to be a child porn star and now providing me the opportunity to star in my own snuff film. Have a nice day. Nazarene Church, etc.